Hi everybody, welcome to week four. We're like halfway done. Um, I'm very excited, I hope you are too. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about week four a little bit. This week we are working, working with primary sources. Um, these can be a challenge to find. Okay, remember, um, I put a chart up earlier this week, but primary sources are from the time period that they, um, that your event occurred, the event that you are studying. Um, so if you're talking about the drafting of the U.S. Constitution, for example, if your article is dated 1992, no, okay? It needs to be something that was created um, during the time period of your study, okay? Um, also, after uh, grading one of week three's assignments, um, I noticed some of you are having problems um, differentiating between secondary sources and what they call tertiary sources. Um, I would say secondary sources mean someone has done some analysis. Someone has ex is expressing their opinion um, after uh, doing a lot of research on their own and looking at primary sources as well. Tertiary sources tend to be, I would say, kind of like a history.com, um, encyclopedias. Um, they give you very basic knowledge on the topic, which I'm not saying is bad, okay? It's very helpful. Uh, but they also um, just give it to you straightforward. Um, there is no analysis, and that is what we need from a secondary source. You need to be able to see the analysis of the author, okay? Um, also, I sent out an email to all of you. I hate having to do that, um, but I just thought I would just to try to catch y'all. Uh, please make sure um, that you are checking your feedback, okay, in um, your messages, um, or excuse me, on your assignments. Um, even if you got a perfect score, please go in and double check to make sure that I didn't write something like, individ like individually on top of um, sort of the general notes that come back. Um, because sometimes some of you actually are writing about topics you still have not gotten approved by me, <laughs> okay? Um, the big one that I see here is writing about the uh, drafting of the Constitution, um, and you're talking to me about the Bill of Rights. Um, it's not the same time period. I mean, it kind of is, but it's years later. Um, and if you want to stick with that topic, that's fine, but you also need to remember we're looking at this from a historical angle and not from a the Second Amendment in modern times, <laughs> okay? For just for an example. Um, also this week, so one thing this, like I said, you have one assignment this week instead of multiple, so yay. <laughs> um, they also ask you uh, to sort of give the author and the location of the secondary source. Um, I would suggest trying to write that in APA formatting. We're going to be doing more and more citations um, and if you do a uh, proper citation, it gives me a better understanding if you're actually using a primary source versus a secondary source, okay? Um, so if you can do that, that would be great. Um, if you're still struggling um, with APA or trying to understand it, I get it, <laughs> okay? Um, and like I said, we'll, we'll talk about more about how to do that in a little while. But anyway, um, I hope you're having a good week. I hope you're having a good Wednesday. Um, and like I said, uh, we're halfway, halfway through, we're into week four, four out of eight. I'm excited. So anyway, if you have any questions, you can email me. Also remember, you can text me, okay? Um, my phone number is 816-288-0142. I do appreciate if you include your name with that, um, just so that I can kind of pop in. Uh, to classroom, maybe see what assignment you're struggling with, just to make sure that we're on the same page, um, and that kind of thing. So anyway, have a great day, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.